my friends. Chris Marcus here with you on Tuesday, September 18th for today's market wrap up. As we can see here, the Dow Jones closing at 26,240, almost seven, up 184 points on the day. S&P 500 up less than a percent to 2904, similar with the NASDAQ up again less than a percent to 7956. Uh, if you take a look over at Europe, uh, it was a pretty flat day in the stock markets there. Um, in Shanghai, up 1.82 percent at the 26.99, and oil sitting at 69.80 today. If we take a look over here to the big news, though, if you see the 10-year bond um, saying only up. 0.009, although that was cut off after the market um, closed because as we see here, bond yields on the 10-year got up to basically 3.06%. Interesting. Looks like I got one of these rights yet because yesterday I talked about how I'm curious to see if one finally breaks through that 3% level um, with all the trading action positioned around there, whether it would burst through, which today it certainly did. Um, I've heard a lot of talk about people looking to that 3% level and does that change market dynamics as it goes through there. We saw it happen earlier this year when it hit 3.11%, then when Italy ran into trouble and some of the other foreign currency crises began happening someone was buying the treasuries it's a little bit of a mystery as to who with the fed russia and others backing away yet nonetheless here we are now back up to 3.06 percent certainly relevant because that puts pressure on the stock market and the bond market and the banking sector and i'll reiterate what i've been saying for almost a year now that the more rates go up the sooner the bubbles are to pop and the more likely that does become to happen now, if we take a look over at the cryptos here, a uh, bit of red over the last 24 hours, Bitcoin at 62.67, Litecoin today trading 52.17. And in terms of some of today's news, uh, another day rolls off the calendar and here Trump will slap 10% tariffs on 200 billion in Chinese goods and they will go to 25% at the year end. So at least in terms of any resolution to the trade war has not happened yet. Commented yesterday that there was an article citing how the Chinese are more than willing and prepared to fight back. So interesting to see how this one unfolds. Uh, again, the US slapping tariffs on its largest creditor and relationship, at least on the surface of it, not looking so positive. What really goes on behind those closed door meetings? I'd love to know. Um, certainly would be fascinating to see inside there, but that's how it stands today. Over on the Wall Street Journal, DOJ opened a probe going after Tesla. Again, analyst Dave Kranzler, who I've interviewed several times, uh, very skeptical and has established a short position on Tesla. Um, and certainly the more I've looked into it, certainly some concerning things. And now we have Department of Justice opening a probe. Uh, and now over to Zero Hedge for an interesting story, a uh, letter from Crescat Capital and interesting in that the three key, three key macro ideas they cite, shorting U.S. stocks at high valuation, shorting some of the Chinese assets in response to their own credit concerns there, and then buying precious metals. Um, interesting article worth taking a look at. They go through the dilemma the Fed is facing. Um, also talks a bit about the Chinese currency and credit issues, which... While often I look more at the U.S. currency and credit issues, certainly uh, not necessarily ideal in China either. So again, interesting to see how these dynamics unfold. And then the last story of the day, just uh, a fascinating one. Canadians who smoke weed legally could face lifetime ban from entering the U.S., 
So it's interesting, especially as a lot of the resource investors have been getting into the cannabis sector and we see growing legalization in Canada and the U.S. But today there's a report that the U.S. Customs and Border um, is going to ban uh, people who have used cannabis. Um, they will interrogate Canadian citizens they suspect of using cannabis and any sin who says yes or lies will be banned from the U.S. for life. Um, I'm not sure exactly how one would enforce that, but again, just fascinating seeing the, the policy, whether it's building a wall to keep Mexicans out or trying to keep Canadian herb out of the U.S. Um, fascinating <laughs> political times. So we'll see how this unfolds as well as the, all the other news stories. And with that said, that's today's wrap, and I will see you again tomorrow. Thanks.